Yo, yo, yo. This is WWE Kamam, Kamam, Kamamihamiha, Kamihamiha. Thirteen. Back at you with another video. In this video, as you can tell by the title, is my Ring of Honor final battle predictions. And yes, over here there is a hole in my shirt. Shut up. Um, you know, there's like, I think, eight matches on this card, but they have changed, um, something. I went to the Ring of Honor website, and they said that, um, Kevin Steen and El Generico, this is obviously storyline, but, Kevin Steen and El Generico, um, is gonna be an unsanctioned match after the main event. Um... So basically, it'll be after the show is over, right? Yeah, but it won't be over because they'll show it. I'm sure. I'm about to get right to it. Uh, the first match is the tag team challenge match. Um, the All Night Express versus Kyle Ry Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole. Um, the All Night Express is looking really good lately, and I like the tag team. I like both Kenny King and Rhett Titus. I used to not like Rhett Titus, but I've always liked Kenny King. But Rhett Titus has kind of grown on me, especially since he stopped acting like a fool and started acting like an actual girl pro wrestler. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to have to put my money on the All Night Express, but I would not be surprised if Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole came out on top in this one. Um, the next match is the scientific showdown between Colt Cabana and TJ Perkins. If anyone knows what this match is about, like what a scientific showdown is, put it in the comments below. But I'm going to have to give this one to Colt Cabana just because I don't know a lot about TJ Perkins. And I do know a lot about Colt Cabana. Mr. Boom Boom Cabana. Next match, Daisy Hayes and Awesome Kong versus Sarah Del Rey and Serena Deeb. Now this one's kind of hard for me. Because I like all four, um wrestlers um not so much Sarah Del Rey Sarah Del Rey is okay I just don't like her as much as I like Daisy Hayes, Awesome Kong, and Serena um I like Serena obviously from her days in the Strange Society I like Awesome Kong from her days in TNA and I like Daisy Hayes because she's awesome and stuff But I'm going to have to give this one to Daisy Hayes and Awesome Kong just because of the size advantage Awesome Kong has against um, both Sarah Del Rey and Serena D. But I, again, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Sarah Del Rey and Serena D picked this one up considering Sarah Del Rey is the queen of wrestling. Um, the next match is ROH Legends Collide. ROH World Television Champion. He did capture the belt. Fallen Angel Christopher Daniels versus the Notorious 187 Homicide. Um, Christopher Daniels is coming off a wave of momentum, but so is the Notorious 187 Homicide. So, this is kind of a tough one. I think it'll be a good match. I really do. I think this will be great. Um, so, um, I think Homicide's going to come out on top. Oh. Uh, it's just me though. I'm gonna give it to Homicide to come out on top in the ROH Legends match. Next match is Eddie Edwards versus Sanjay Dutton, a special attraction match. I'm sure this match was for the television title before Christopher Daniels took it away from him. I'm sure. I'm gonna have to give this one to Sanjay. Um, just because in my opinion, Sanjay is just a little bit better. A little bit. He's, he's got the experience, and he's just a little bit better, a little faster. Um, next match: six-man tag team grudge match. Um, J. Mark and J. Mark and Mike Papa Briscoe versus the King of Kings of Wrestling and Shane Hagedorn. Um, now, see, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. I don't like this match, obviously, because it's got Mike Papa Briscoe. It's got Papa Briscoe and Shane Hagedorn. Two people that should not be in this match. But then again, I don't want to see just another Briscoes versus Kings of Wrestling. I've seen that like two or three times. That's all. That's the only real. I mean, besides, you know, the Kings of Wrestling and 
uh, World's Greatest Tag Team. That's the only tag team match I've seen the Kings of Wrestling wrestle is versus the Briscoes. Which is, which they're good matches, it's just kind of old, you know? I'm gonna have to give this one to, um, J. Mark and Papa Briscoe. Mainly because it's not for the titles. Um, and, you know, Shane Hagedorn is probably gonna be the one to get pinned. It's probably gonna end up being the Kings of Wrestling and them get their ass kicked. And maybe they'll come back and they'll own part of the match. But then again, the Briscoes will come back. Kings of Wrestling will run off. And it'll be three on one on Shane Hagedorn. We'll all love it, I hope. Next match is the final battle at final battle. Fight without honor. El Generico versus Kevin Steen. Um, supposed to be an unsanctioned match. Um, if Generico loses, he will unmask for good. Never put on the mask again in Ring of Honor. Which I'm assuming he'll never put the mask on again, period. And if Steen loses, he will quit Ring of Honor. Um, I'm going to have to give this one to El Generico. Um, just because El Generico is a master wrestler. I just It just makes more sense to me. that Because they can pull a storyline out of their ass and bring back Steen in three months. Not a big deal. Um, but Generico losing the match, that mask, that's permanent. And for all we know, Kevin Steen could have a contract in the works with WWE or TNA. So, I'm going to have to give it to, to El Generico um, to pick up the win against Kevin Steen. Yeah. The last match will, what I assume will be the last match, but it will probably be the unsanctioned match, will be the last match of the night. Um... Roderick Strong defends against Davey Richards. I think this will be a knockout dragout brawl. I think they should do something about Truth Martini. Um, I don't want to see this match in in a screw job finish. I don't want to see. Um, I re I just I don't want to see um, Davey Richards get screwed. I don't want to see. Um, Roderick Strong gets screwed by his own manager and in any way they could pull that. They could pull it where it's an accident. They could pull it where Truth Martini turns on him. But what I want to see is I want to see Davey Richards beat Roderick Strong cleanly. Or Roderick Strong beat Davey Richards cleanly. Either way. Because all this, um, all this Truth Martini crap is making Roderick Strong look like a weak champion. Which is bullshit after the long, hard road he's taken to becoming the Ring of Honor World Champion. He should look like a strong champion that deserves to have the belt around his waist. But I'm going to have to give this one to Davey, boy. Davey Richards. Um, Davey is definitely going to take the cake here. Um, I just think it's his time. And I can't really um, see Roderick coming out. Um, it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, after all of the pomp and circumstance and all that with Davey, this was supposed to be his final battle. But if, but no matter what, he's gonna keep going. But he wants the Ring of Honor World Title, and he says he's gonna win the Ring of Honor World Title. So, I just think it's going to be Davey Richards over Roderick Strong. Um, yeah. I think this will be a very good pay-per-view. Um, Ring of Honor is pretty good on putting on good pay-per-views. Um, I really do believe that this will be great. It will be fun. And hopefully I'll be able to order it. And hopefully I'll be able to stream TLC. So, you might get two reviews this weekend. Hopefully the Ring of Honor Final Battle review will be on Saturday and the TLC pay-per-view battle review will be on Sunday if I have both. But um if you don't already know the results and predictions are in there or not the results, but the predictions are in the description below. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like the video down below over there, and um leave comments. Peace.